For those who enjoy learning about space and viewing what it has to offer, you won't want to miss the Lyrid's Meteor Shower coming in Spring 2023. The Lyrid Meteor Shower is set to arrive this week, offering skygazers the first chance of 2023 to catch a prolonged display of shooting stars. The Lyrid's, which is going to be the super intense cosmic phenomenon of this year, will occur in mid-April of 2023. Here's what it is exactly and how you can watch it. What is the Lyrid's Meteor Shower? The Lyrid Meteor Shower is a burst of meteor activity occurring. Around mid to late April, meteors are small chunks of debris left in the wake of certain celestial objects, like asteroids or comets, as the comet C, 1861 G1 Thatcher orbits the Sun. It leaves a trail of debris, which the Earth crashes into every April. When the debris burns up in our atmosphere, it produces the meteor shower that we call the Lyrids. According to NASA, Lyrid meteors leave behind glowing dust trails that can last for minutes at a time. The Lyrid meteor showers typically show about 5 to 20 meteors per hour and will last for about two weeks. At its peak, the Lyrids can produce 18 to 20 meteors per hour. They're usually bright with long trails and there's also a good chance of seeing one that becomes a fireball. When is the best time to see the Lyrids meteor shower in 2023? Luckily, this intense meteor shower is coming up very soon. The best time to see the Lyrids in 2023 is in a late evening on April 22nd and early morning April 23rd. Viewing conditions are good for 2023, with the moon being only 9% full on the 22nd of April. However, the Lyrids will start appearing from the 15th of April. So keep your eyes peeled. The number of meteors will increase steadily each night until their peak on the 22nd to the 23rd of April, and then drop off rapidly before finishing completely by the 30th of April. Where and how can we see the Lyrid meteor shower? Meteor showers are visible to the naked eye, so no binoculars or telescope are needed to see the natural wonder. First, check the weather forecast if it's going to be cloudy. Then try the days before the peak viewing period. Light pollution will affect your viewing of the Lyrids. So if you're near a big city like London, New York, Mumbai, or any other city that emits dense amounts of light pollution, you may not be able to see it so find a dark but safe place, with a clear view away from buildings, trees, and street light. Also, make sure you turn off all torches and phones for 15 minutes so that your eyes can adjust to the Darkness. If you need to use a torch, then consider buying one with a red filter. You can expect to see a meteor every couple of minutes, with 15 to 20 an hour being around the peak rate. Each one traveling at a speed of around 29 miles 47 kilometers per second. So, hopefully guys you found this video helpful. It would be really amazing to have you back on the channel. So do subscribe. And if you are planning to watch this spectacular cosmic show, then comment below.